G'day, Steve here with Working Masterclass. Welcome to the workshop and welcome to the bench. I don't know if you've known, but recently I've started doing live uh, streams on Twitch and I've been getting YouTube videos out of my live streams. But I did one the other day and I made a chessboard and I really wasn't happy with the shots that I got from the cameras I use for YouTube because I use two sets of cameras. One set of cameras I stream with and they're generally webcams and the ones I film for television and also YouTube are pro cams and I wasn't really happy with those shots so I thought well I tell you what it's an easy project it's a fun project it's a great introduction to uh, veneering if you've never veneered for, before so I thought that's it I'll do another one so I'm going to do the same board that I did on Twitch stream which you can check it out at twitch.tv forward slash woodworking masterclass and I look forward to your company at the bench if you want to join me live that'd be great and I'm going to do the same one again so duplicate if you like so what I've got is a light and a dark timber this timber here this is a light one this is European birch and the dark one I've got quite a nicely figured piece here that's New Guinea walnut so I'm going to cut these up into strips and then we'll join the strips together then we'll cut them into another strip and then we'll put them together and we'll have squares and then we dock them and then we put them on the board so here goes there's a few little jigs you can build along the way that makes life a lot easier for you and you really don't need a lot of equipment I'll be using my knife I've made a couple of little chocks up these are the same size as the, the width of the squares that I want and I've got some sticky tape oh and there's a straight edge that's just one I made myself out of some timber we got a couple of years ago and it's got a brass strip in it and as with all things when I'm using veneer I've got some 240 wet and dry on the back of the rulers and that way they won't slip I've demonstrated it before but I guess it doesn't hurt to demonstrate it again take a steel ruler put it on the veneer hold the veneer you can see how the steel ruler slips with a little bit of this on the back you hold the veneer and the ruler doesn't slip that gives you a much more accurate cut and you feel more comfortable cutting veneers okay so the first thing with veneer is you got to have at least one straight edge now that might look straight if I put it up to the ruler it's not quite straight got a bit of light coming through there so to straighten that off the easiest way I found is to plonk it between two bits of wood I've got here now with veneer it's the same as timber you've got a plane in the direction of the grain so you've got a plane uphill not downhill because if you're playing downhill you're going to rip grain out and ripping grain out in veneer is a lot easier to do than solid timber so if you have a look at the grain direction there you can see it's going uphill so that's the direction I'm going to be planing now I've got three sheets of each and that should be more than enough to do the chessboard I want to do at the moment I'm just placing that piece of timber here putting this over the top bit of water in the vise stop it from slipping and obviously I can't put it all the way into the vise because it's hanging down lower than what um, the vise will allow but providing I've got all the veneer just above this timber that's okay put a clamp on that now get a nice plane I'll use a six but you know whatever plane you've got now I'm going to plane down until all that is level with this timber here and that will give me a nice true edge I like using a longer plane with this when you're shooting so therefore the sole is on the surface I'm planing the whole time whereas if I was to use 
a smaller plane, you can see the plane's not in contact with the timber here, so it can get sometimes a little bit uneven. But if I'm using a plane that'll go the full width, it'll give me a nice flat cut. I haven't planed right down to this timber, but if you can see here, I've got six laminations and they're all even. That's what I'm looking for. One more for luck and then we'll take it out. There we go. And it's not a bad idea just to mark with an arrow, which is your straight edge. Now we're going to mark the right side and the wrong side and with veneer there's two sides. There's a glue down side and there's an upside. And the way you find that is to bend the veneer. And it's bending fairly well that way, not very well that way. So this side here is the side that's going to get glued and I put a pencil mark on that. That way whenever I pick a piece of veneer up, if I see the pencil, I know that's the side that's going to be glued down. Okay, again on this side. I mean, these are little things, they don't take long, but by crikey, they save you a lot of time in the long run. And there we have them all marked. And the next little jig that I've made is this board here. It's just a piece of uh, MDF, which got a bit of laminex or something on the top and I've put a straight edge down this side and I've got a brass track in there. And the reason I've got a brass track is I know it's going to stay true and it's not going to uh, wander and also I'm not going to get little bits of veneer, the grain, caught in if I had a solid timber one and I'm moving around so my uh, risk of tear out is a little, greatly reduced. I've got a little green cutting mat to go on top of that and as I said before I've got these two little ply blocks and all they are is that's the width that I want my squares to be. Now I'll put those either in and slide where I've got the mark for the front and I'm actually going to cut this from the back because it'll give me a better join when I put it together. And then have these in place and then get your straight edge. Pop it along there. And then just cut along your straight edge like so. Now, as with all veneer cutting, you don't rush it. Just take your time. <laughs> 